Hi guys, and welcome down to Dunham Forest Golf Club here in Manchester. I'm joined by Mr. Nick Holmes again. He's challenged yep. me to a, a rematch from Worsley Golf Club, Worsley yep. Park Golf Club. This uh, is it. This is it. Come back. This is the comeback. Okay, so we're down here at Dunham Forest. I've played here, must be 10 years ago, for, for my local club. We played, a, we played a match here, absolutely amazing course. Haven't played it since, funnily enough, so can't wait to get back out there. Nick, I think you had a little sneaky practice round last yeah, week, I didn't you? I had a sneaky practice round last week. I've been, at a couple, I've been here a couple of times as well in the last probably 12 to 18 months, so feeling pretty confident about today, if I'm honest. <laughs> right, so as challenger, you're going to lead us away. Yep. Yeah, we've got a 495 yard par five. It's quite windy today, so just just as a quick one. I hope the audio comes out pretty good. Obviously, just it's quite it is quite windy out here today, but we'll do our best for you. 495 yard par five. It's kind of a little dogleg right up the hill. Yeah, yeah. Up just going to pan the camera around. Let them, let us see it. It's a tricky one. So that's the first hole here. So. All you United fans out there, this is where they play the uh, the end of the season classic as well. So we're going straight up. Is the bunker the line, Nick? Yeah. So straight out towards the bunker. If you can fade it, I presume that's better. I really, I can, I can picture these holes, but I can't remember exactly where they're going. So this is going to be, this is going to be fun. Yep. Fade off the bunker is the play. Fade off the bunker is the play. So you're going to, you're going to do the honors for us. You're going to do the honors. Play well. <laughs> you too. All the best and enjoy it. That's the main thing. Yeah. Don't beat me too much. Just on the left side. I heard a bit of wood. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. It's it's dropped. Okay. Yeah, it's dropped out. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Slightly downwind as well, actually, isn't it? It, makes, it probably makes, do you reckon it makes this t-shirt a bit tighter? It does, because it's off the right as well. Down and off the right. Is that, I'm going to go three wood. We're on it today. I feel under pressure today. I feel like, you, you've, I feel like you're coming for me, so my goal is to keep this ball in play. So I'm going to go with the same sort of Shot shape just off the left hand side, little fade, little three wood. It's not reach, I don't think it's reachable in two with the way the weather is. Oh, I've followed you, but I've got a club left, so I might be okay. Yeah, I've got it, I've got it dropping. That's all right. Opens up the fairway from there, I think. Right, so we've come. I've come down the left off the uh, off the tee, and I found my ball, and it's not fantastic. It's just in there, so I'm actually just going to pop this out sideways and try and have another go at the green. Nick's just down there by his bag, so I'm sure all golfers can feel my pain when you put it into the same area as your playing partner, and you end up <laughs> in the thick stuff, and he's end up on the fairway. <laughs> Right, so yeah, I've not really got much of a shot from there. I just pulled, only tugged it a little bit, but that's how tight this course is. So, just going to chop it through there, and I should leave myself about 200 into the into the green and try and still save my pass. So I'm going to take my medicine. Not quite sure what with though. Well, I only really want to carry it to the just past the trees, don't I? So I, don't, I can still get a little bit of loft on this. There's nothing really in my way. I've got a pitching wedge. As long as that doesn't get me. So, bit of a rock. I'm gonna put the weight forward, grip down on the club. I just wanna punch this out. Anything just clearing that mound there will get me back into play because it will run on a little bit further. I don't need to try and buy any more yardage. Just get the ball back into play. I'll take, I'll take that, middle of the fairway. All right, bud, so you're in the same trees, you hit the same tree as me, but you've come out here, hey? Eh? I was in there. Happy with that? How happy are you? Well, I <laughs> First. progress this another 200 yards with you. Yes, you will um, have a bit of an advantage now. How far have we got, any idea? Uh, it's hard to pick up that flag, wasn't it, with the bush now? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. It's a long way, isn't it? A distance, but 
off this lie, I'm not very confident hitting a wood. I'm not really that yeah. confident in an iron. So I'm just going to try and get something down there and leave myself Chase it up. 50, 60 yards. To go. Chasing up to that kind of big tree on the right of the yeah, flag. Up to the tree on the right, and then yeah. a pretty easy shot up the green from there. Yeah. Perfect match play that, isn't it? Partners, opponents in trouble. Yeah, perfect, just like you said. Yeah, it should be good there. Happy, Happy with that, that yeah? yeah? Nice one, right. Just walked 20 yards up to my second shot. Right, 220. <laughs> it's not what I expected for my third shot, I'm not going to lie. Uh, 220 uphill, slightly downwind and off the right, so I'm going to wait with that tree that you hit your shot towards, but it should shape in from there. Should. But yeah, I'm going to need all of this for 220 to be fair, so got a four iron. A little bit clean, it's drawing back though. I've got, I suspect I'll need an up and down for par. Bunker, there's a bunker right, so... All right, great. <laughs> I love bunkers, it's fine. <laughs> All right, Pa, so yeah, you, you bang on, just laid up into a pretty decent position. 65 yards to go. 65 yards to go. I, um, I went towards that big tree there in the, in the camera, but I can't actually see where the ball is. If I've got past it, I'll be really happy. I think it's on the roof. Mine? I don't know. It was just right at the trunk from where we were. As long as I'm not in that bunker there, on the right, I'll be happy. What are we out with anyway? So I've got 56 degree wedge. It's oh. going to be a little little pitch shot in. Just not really much in front of me, just a pretty much as it comes pitch shot. Nice. <laughs> Sounds easy. Yeah. <laughs> ball in the middle of your stance. Try and get the ball first, bit of grass after. Yeah, nice shot. Oh, is it a good one? Repairing the divot, good boy. <laughs> Cracking shot that actually. Thank you very much. Nice one. Right, let's see mine. I'm gonna keep this recording to see my disappointment if it's in a bunker or in this bunker. No, it's safe. So we've passed all this. Course, I love this place. Absolutely amazing course. I'm almost frustrated at myself for not playing it more in the past. Just zooming on Nick's ball there. He's in the driving seat, nice and close. I am just here now, next to that bunker. So I've got a straightforward-ish chip. I need to get up and down and put the pressure on Nick's putting. Right, I'm out with Lob Wedge. I'm gonna land it about two thirds of the way there. Great shot. Oh, very good. About four or five feet left. Great shot. I thought I was going to stop a bit faster. Feeling confident? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of break in it, left to right. Just make a good stroke. This for the. This for the. Uh, I say this for the match. This for this for the hole. <laughs> Stayed straight on you. Take it away. Hold that one. <laughs> right, I'm going right edge, but I don't want to aim too far outside the hole. If it moves more than that, then I'll be surprised.
didn't have it moving more than that. Right, Nick, second hole. You are one up. One up. Retaining the honour. 339 yard par four. 225 yards to the end of the, end of the fairway, corner of the dog leg. So it's a dog leg left. It's kind of round the corner down to the left, isn't it? It is. Down the hill. Well, so I've got a five iron. What are we aiming for? That kind of bronzy bush? Bronzy, bronzy tree? I'm going to try and work it to that. I'm going to start at the, you know, the full yeah. rounded tree at the end of the fairway. Yeah. And then work it round. Finish a little bit down the left. Awesome. Sorted, down the hill, no problems. Bit of a stiff swing, but it's... Tiny bit heavy, wasn't it? You all right, though? I'm going to go with the same game plan. Just got to keep it in play on here. It's a real tight hole. That'll work. Yep. Very good. Good line. All right, buds are at the corner and we're going straight down the hill in between the trees to that flag there, which is on the front edge of the green. Again, the course itself looks quality with the really tight tree line, very densely populated trees. So we found the fairways, both of us. Yeah, you're a bit further than me. You must have caught this down so far. No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> How far have we got? Uh, it's 135. 135, what are we thinking? Winds into and off the left. So I'm going to go with a little, little nine. Little nine? Very little nine. <laughs> Fair. Oh, if that wind gets it, it's in the bunker. Big. Oh, big. Is it big? Well, it's that second. There's the bunker. green side bunker, it's just past it, yeah. I think. Yeah, second bunker. Ah. When you said 9 iron, 135, I thought, a bit big that. But then again, you know, if it landed kind of at the flag on the green, it would only have been about 10 foot too long. Yeah. I don't think it was like huge. It probably, wind, was, probably one, was a wedge. Once he got up and over the trees there, the wind just grabbed it. 104. Bit of a downhill lie. Yeah, it's awkward actually. It's a little downhill. Wind's kind of coming that way from my back. So, because of the downhill lie and the distance, I'm just going to punch a little 52 in there. So I don't expect it to get too high where the wind's going to affect it too much. I'm going to aim left of the flag though, kind of over the right lip of that bunker. So if it does move, it'll look good but the ball flight should be relatively strong. Is that back into our face now? Yeah, it's definitely in, it's just coming up the funnel of the trees, isn't it? I think you find that, don't you? Yeah. You've got getting... a general wind direction, but it, then it will funnel up the trees. Oh, that way. Mm. Right, same club. I'm gonna go at the flag a bit more now. Still left side of it though, in case the wind changes its mind again. So I'm putting the ball a bit further back in my stance, back of centre, weight forward. Just going to punch this down there. It's looking good. Brilliant shot. Yeah, about, oh, yeah, oh. lovely. Three, four feet. Yep. Well done. Thank you. Right, just coming into the green. I'm delighted with my approach shot there, to be honest. Just get a little bit closer for you. There we go. Decent shot, happy with that. Like I said, I think Nick just hit that second bunker. You in the, you in the bunker? I'd like to think you need to hold your bunker shot for the half. I'd like to think that. <laughs> I've got, what's this, about four or five foot for a birdie. Oof. 
part of me thought that was um, part of me thought that was going in. <laughs> I could just see that slam dunking. Good effort. He's gone for the birdie. He's expecting me to make the birdie putt, so he's gone for his uh, he's gone for his bunker shot. I am now feeling a bit more confident about getting this back to uh, all square. <laughs> right, par par putt. Yeah. You're a bit aggressive on that bunker, then, were you? I was a little bit. I was a little bit. But left to right. Left to right. Nice one. Let's get around the side here. Good effort. Good effort. Definitely wasn't left to right. <laughs> so, this for birdie. It's actually got two putts to win the hole, but it's always nice to make a birdie. Yeah, I gotta try and make a birdie. I bogeyed the last, so just for my own gross score. Boom. Thank you. Right, all square. Third hole, 115, did you say? So a little short par three. Again, playing inside the trees. Windy, downwind this time, downwind. So slightly downwind, probably off the right-hand side. 115, I've got a gap wedge, which downwind will be too much. So I'm just taking about, about three quarter, trying to control the flight. Yeah, I think it's good actually. Very good. Ten foot maybe. Good distance. Yeah, it's a good shot. Take that one. Right, so just approaching the green, myself and Nick, pretty evenly matched there really. Just about the same distance away from the hole. All to play for. One of these got to go in, I think. Yeah. Right, pal, it's just on you. What are we thinking? What, what's the... Um, come a, just come a little bit closer to you for the audio. Downhill, right to left. Apart from that. <laughs> Well, that's all you can give, isn't it, really? I'm feeling confident. Downhill right to left, feeling confident. It is a big slope, actually. I'm trying to put this camera straight. You can just see how the green is tilted that way. It made itself a nice little pathway with a few leaves. Yeah, that leaf just right at the hole. I think that's the line. Let it swing its way down. Broke a lot, that. Broke a lot, a lot. Did you expect that much break? No. <laughs> I can see from the path you created, you weren't expecting that much. The more I look at it, the, more, the higher I want to go. I know. Especially watching mine. Move low. Miss low. So all right, you can have that one. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. That's the end of part one. Hope well, that was enjoyable. A couple of some good golf played. Kind of story of it. First hole, my drive hit the trees. Took the medicine. Took bogey, but Nick made his par. Went one up. I hit a nice little approach shot into the second. Made birdie. Got it back to all square. And we've just parred and halved the third hole, par three. 115 yards. We are now stood on the fourth tee. 450 yard par four. It's a big one. This. It's a little down again downhill dog leg to the um, to the left hand side. Tree lined. Can't see much of the fairway. Looks spectacular. Plays a little bit more difficult. Check us out in part two in a couple of days' time. In the meantime, go and check out Nick on his social media platforms. How's your ball? 
his <laughs> brand new YouTube channel. Loads of content coming soon, doing a bit of filming out here as well today, so stuff going up on there very shortly. And from me, subscribe as ever, please, and we'll see you again soon. Cool. Oh. Come on. Put me back if you tried. <laughs>